this wig is. What's up guys? Welcome to my channel, XOXO Shiba here. If you're new to the channel, hello and welcome. And if you're an OG subscriber, what's good? Welcome back. So I have another one today from Outre's 5x5 100% Human Hair Blend line. And this one is HHB Dash Yaki Straight 26 inch. And straight away y'all, I do have one complaint already. This is not giving Yaki Straight. It's not giving really any texture at all. This is very much silky straight. I'm shocked because I usually expect Outre to get Outre. I usually expect them to get it right with the texture, at least close to. The last one I did that was supposed to be more of a yakky straight, it was also a little bit silkier than I would want, but it still, I could still see the texture in it. This one is just straight up silky. It has a synthetic look to me. Well, no, nah, it's just got a silky look to me. I think the fact that I know it's somewhat synthetic, I feel like it looks synthetic, but if I didn't know that, I would just look at this and think like it's kind of a silkier textured um, Brazilian straight kind of. But nonetheless, we still gonna try her on because it's not like I gotta blend it with my actual hair. But you should be forewarned if you were getting this for the fact that it's supposed to be a yakky straight texture. It's not giving that. The construction is the same as the last one I reviewed. Two combs in the front, one in the back, adjustable straps, and then it does have the elastic band with it sewed near the ears. I am a fan of it being sewed near the ears over it being in the back. It's whoop. It has been way more useful to me and way easier to wear my wigs glueless with it being by the ears instead of in the back. I feel like when it's in the back, it pulls my wig so I can't shift it correctly, which has been a lifesaver for me, y'all, because I've been doing my wigs glueless and I will continue to keep doing my wigs glueless, at least for reviews. When I think, when I wear my actual wigs, I'll probably still tack them down because I'd be scared. But for these reviews, I'm about to start being glueless now that it works for me. Just like the other ones I reviewed, I do think the hairline straight away comes really good, but for customization purposes, I do still go in and pluck it out a little bit more for me. But when I tell you, I really don't think you need to pluck it if you don't want to. You really don't need to pluck it if you don't want to. I plucked out the baby hairs and I tried to give it more of a natural distinct hairline but not as far as it being gradient or thin enough it looked great this is after I plucked it just to clarify for anyone wondering but I did do this to where you know it had more little dips in it again pluck out the baby hair stuff like that I'll insert footage because I did think I took some because I really wanted y'all to see how amazingly pre-plucked this was like I was like oh this is really really free plus like they're not just putting this on the packaging to get you to get it no marketing like they meant it now this one compared to the peruvian wavy one i tried in my last video this is a lot thinner i would like to see a little bit more density in this unit but that is a personal preference you know some people don't want too much density and if you're one of those people who you like like a 130 150 max you don't like your wigs to have too much volume i feel like you would like this but for me i don't want too much more volume but it, i feel like there could be a little more tracks in the back so i'm going in with a little bit of foam there's a lot on my hand but like i'm just going to dab it in there because i don't want it to pull my ball cap up so i'm being very precise with where i put this And honestly, what I've noticed from doing these installs like this is that if you slowly do the, um, what's this called? The foam, it'll kind of get like its own way of being tacky. Like I know people use the foam and maybe people already knew this who were doing like full out glueless like this, but I didn't know like it would really tack and like stick to my head if you used a little bit at a time and let it dry. Like I know most people do it to lay their wigs down or they'll just lay their baby hair and that'll, they'll call that laying the wig or whatever. But I didn't realize, you know, enough foam in little amounts like enough layers of it, it'll actually get tacky. You know what? All of these have been in metal parts. Do I feel like doing a side part? I probably should have shifted this to the side if I was going. Actually, it's not too late. Just a little shift to a side part. Yeah, y'all, the more I play in this hair, this is not nobody's yakky straight anything. This is over-processed for laxer straight. You will run into some tangling issues, so be forewarned, but I don't think it's anything to, you know, not expect. I, I've been saying this lately, but have synthetic expectations for your synthetic wigs. Now, granted, to be fair, I am combing out some of the shedding. I did not comb it out from when I you know, originally plucked the wigs. Nothing about this to me gives yakky, black girl, natural-ish kind of hair. None of the volume is there really. And the texture, like that's just killing me. Like it's really, really shiny and straight. I'm very shocked they rolled with this, to be honest. If you're looking for a wig though that's like this, 
this is a good wig, but it's not really the wig they advertise. Even on the stock card, if you look at it, it looks a little bit fuller. It looks a little bit more dull, like in a good way, like not this kind of shininess. And it looks a little more textured. Like, let's revisit this stock card. Look at this, this is a lot different than what we're getting in person. Like it looks a lot fuller. I don't know if you can tell the detail just from me pulling it on camera, but you know, that looks like a little bit more texture. It just, it's a different wig. I ain't saying this is a bad wig, but it's a different wig. I don't know who this wig is. I do think it's quality, but they absolutely should have advertised this as a silky straight, not a yakky straight. Because if I were to, well I did pay for this, actually I forgot. I paid for this thing and I was going to get a kink, or not even a kinky straight, a yakky straight texture. And that is not what I got. did a lot better based on what they've given us before this is not up to par the texture is giving silky straight synthetic I don't like the way that it looks it is a little bit better on the tangling now since I've like really detangled it out but it's still not giving it's way too thin like this is all the hair that there is to it even if I pull it all to the front it still looks too thin I'm just mm, I'm not feeling this one. It has great potential, but it could have been done a whole lot better. But if I'm playing devil's advocate against myself, the thinness is more of a realistic kind of thin, the way your hair might look if you flat ironed your own hair. But on the other devil, devil's advocate, that would really work if the texture could look like it was your real hair, because this don't look like it's your real hair. But if you like this unit for yourself, those things I talked about don't bother you, it's in the description box below. <laughs>